hello guys i'm amit and welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and in this tutorial we will see how we can use python 3 to create automation script and what is the difference between python 2 and python 3 script notation so uh, this is the python 3 script which i have already created so it looks same to you uh, we are importing get pass importing the telnet library we created a host variable and assigned it to this IP address we created a user variable and here this is the difference in version 2 in version 2 we use raw input in version 3 we use just input and here we have a B character so this B character stands for the byte literal why because uh, uh, in the python version 2.7 it supports only ascii characters but python 3 or uh, the version python 3.8 that we are using it supports unicode like it supports all the languages in the world so here we are defining the byte literal that the telnet protocol can understand and then we use the write user dot encode ascii so what we are doing, we enter the username that we input here <clears throat> and then we are encoding it to ASCII so that it remains constant. Again if we have a if loop, if password is there then read until password and then write password and encode it to ASCII characters and in uh, version 2 the password was already ASCII so we don't need to define like in which uh, language we need to encode it again new line and then uh, we set the terminal length to zero we write so version and then exit out and then we print out the output and we decode it back to ascii because we need this output in a human readable form i will copy this script from here i will go to the ubuntu server I will use nano and I will use so version 3 for uh, we are using python 3.py I will paste it and uh, it looks okay so let's save it control o enter control x exit just see cat of 3 uh, imported the get pass telnet library <coughs> host yeah so if we need to run this python 3 script we need to use python 3 or by default is will you it will use python 2.7 and uh, we define so version 3 enter the username enter the password and here we get the same output we used python 3 for our python 3 script enter the username enter the password and we got we it set the terminal length to zero so version and it showed us the version so uh, we will use this uh, uh, python 3 to configure uh, ospf as well so let's see in let's see this is my cp uh, sorry this is my switch enable so ip protocols Uh, so for now I have only configured BGP nothing else so now what we will do we will configure OSPF and the IP address we have already configured uh, we don't need to worry about it because uh, this is not live so we just configure OSPF and let's see how we can uh, do that so I will copy this so version 3.py to OSPF.py go to nano ospf.py so we are just going to modify it what we will do i will just copy these lines and i will paste it few times in order to avoid mistake so I will go to router ospf 
let's say one I will configure the network 10.10.10.0 wildcard mask 255 area 0 and uh, now uh, we can also verify let's say I have configured the OSPF I have configured the network on which interfaces it needs to be enabled and apart from that uh, we can also verify so IP root OSPF or we can do so IP OSPF neighbor to check if the neighbor came up and here we can just come out of the config mode exit the config mode and again I forgot one thing I didn't go to the configuration mode so config T so we go to config we go to router OSPF1 network this mask this area 0 so IP route OSPF and so IP OSPF neighbor okay uh, these two lines need to be control K for cut these two lines need to come after end So and will come out of the configuration mode and then we will do so IP route OSPF so IP OSPF neighbor and then we will exit out. Yeah so it looks uh, okay now terminal land 0 configuration T router OSPF 1 network this wildcard disk area 0 come out of config so I put out this and this so let's see if it works control X Python 3 OSPF yeah so you see we go to CP login with password Set the terminal length to 0, enter into the configuration mode, configure the OSPF, come out of the config mode and we do so IP route OSPF, there is no route because the interface is not up and so IP OSPF neighbor. So uh, this was a small script uh, that we have created by using the variables and strings that we have learned so far. Thank you guys for watching. If it was informative to you, please like it, share it and hit the subscribe button for upcoming tutorials. If you guys have any queries, please comment on the comment box below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys. See you soon in next tutorial.